Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show, where I'm very happy to have one million cups here in studio. That means that Tony Duffy is here, and he's brought two of their most recent, or I should say, their future presenters as we look to the next event, and that includes uh, Scott Weiser, who is here uh, with his uh, company. It's an animation uh, firm, which I'm excited to talk about. And then next to him, we've got Cameron Bodily of Bodily Works. And uh, his company is confusing. I can't wait to hear more about this. I need a <laughs> lot of information here, which is why we're all talking about it. And first of all, One Million Cups, uh, you guys, you got to be excited about this next group. Yeah, it's exciting. Every month uh, we have, you know, presenters from almost every industry vertical you could imagine that come yeah. through from uh, not-for-profit to tech to services Foods. to recreation yeah, to culinary. Uh, it's an amazing program, really keeps you on your toes. It's, it's got a lot of energy um, and it really is a, uh, it's, it's networking on steroids for small businesses and uh, businesses in general uh, for Northern Utah. So, And occasionally you even take a nap. I, you'd have to, to so this much. <laughs> Sometimes, <Tony Duffy>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is impressive. Yeah. Uh, let's start with uh, Scott because I, I have to tell you, I'm, I've become uh, more and more fascinated with animation. I think, really, I'm not alone. I think most people are, uh, as we look to the future and what computers are capable of doing and what uh, the artists behind them can do with those uh, tools. Talk about that a little bit. Well, I've worked in games, film, TV, commercials. I've worked in all the, the aspects of animation as a character animator. And uh, for my situation in particular, I, I worked um, in the studios, and I wrote this book, Banishing Ink, and I pitched it as a, as a feature film at those studios that I worked at. And I started to see that I, I had great talent in that area, but to take the opportunity, I would have to take it myself. Yeah. I couldn't wait for somebody else to fund my project. Uh, so that's why I came back to Ogden and why I started a business in animation. Uh, and at first, I've, I've helped other companies build their creative divisions, and I've been consulting that way. But now I'm starting to create my own studio with a Kickstarter. That is really cool. Now, this studio, you'll be focusing on any one particular area of animation, or is this pretty wide open for you? Well. Yeah, with this studio, I want to do character animation. You want to stick to character. Which means story-based yeah. animation, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, when you think about the characters that uh, you like personally, what is uh, what, what are some of the characteristics that you like in your characters? I like characters that are, are real. Yeah. Which, that's kind of vague. Uh, it's kind of fun. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny, that's too. Ironic. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's ironic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I think I, because I, I spent a lot of time doing musical theater growing up. Sure. I think that I have, there's a lot of showmanship to some of my characters, but I like to also have some more Genuine. Um, rigid characters, more uh, straight-faced characters that aren't, aren't dramatic and that sort of thing. Okay. So, yeah. That's awesome. I, and uh, your book, is it available? Can, where can yeah, we find it? Yeah, people can buy this on, on Amazon. On Amazon. Yeah, okay. Vanishing Ink. Vanishing Ink. But right now, I'm, I'm really promoting the short film Kickstarter. Yeah, let's talk a little more about that, where we can find uh, some of that part of it, uh, as far as your Kickstarter is concerned. Tell us a little more about that and where we can find it. You can find the Kickstarter in, in two ways. You can go to scottweiser.com, which is okay. S-C-O-T-T-W-I-S-E-R slash buy. Okay. Or you can go to Kickstarter and just search layers. L-A-Y-E-R-S. That's so an interesting... That's the name uh, of the film. Yeah, yeah. layers. It's about this old big burly Russian woman who has to climb this mountain so she doesn't starve to death and she starts taking off layers and the layers turn into magical memories that actually help her climb the mountain. Wow. Yeah. That's a fascinating mm. idea. It's fun. I'm excited. Oh, I'm sure. I, I'm, I'm excited to hear more of your presentation because this is just we're just scratching the surface here. Right. Uh, for sure. When you talk about characters, that's, uh, I suppose, typical that there's a lot more depth uh, that we, we could jump into. Oh, so yeah. I'm Absolutely. excited about that. I'm going to turn our attention for a moment to Cameron awesome. uh, Bodily. Uh, your company, uh, it, I understand uh, from just a little bit with Tony, uh, kind of uh, wide scope, but really about branding and, and more, right? Well, um, so we're a specialty um, kind of consulting company. So people or companies come to us uh, for installments, deployments, as well as managing infrastructure, making sure it's yeah. deployed properly. Um, so for example, uh, we did all the infrastructure for Petco. So they had kind of more specific goals in mind and they just said we need somebody to manage it and install it properly, make sure that it's installed the same way at every site. Yeah, because if you leave it to the that. stores, you get to some of these and you're like, <laughs> yeah, that's not what we wanted. 
right? Yeah, or um, because especially when you start um, contracting or subcontracting or you have so many different variables, things just fall through the cracks, things don't happen, and um, our job is kind of to mitigate those issues. Um, so we make sure that uh, before we even get out there that the internet has actually been hooked up correctly because there's some circumstances where we'll go to a site and we found out that they hooked up the internet um, but it was at a location five blocks away which doesn't do us any good and that means crucial downtime, lost money, revenue um, for, for that client and that's just not acceptable. Um, every day you're out of um, like down like that, um, you're losing thousands and thousands of dollars. So now granted, th nothing ever goes perfectly. Um, so where we mitigate things as well is we set up a plan. It's like, hey, if everything failed um, during this deployment or if we, the, the provider, like for instance, during the project, we actually had Verizon go on strike. Mm which caused all sorts of um, issues. So we had to do fallback and make sure that we had um, cellular backup and that we could still get into the system, get the configurations done. Um, and we've done the same for a lot of other companies. So like right now we're working on um, more marketing displays for uh, Walgreens. Right. So um, we're remodeling it, adding new lights, uh, making sure that there, because cosmetics is such a high markup item, um, they want to draw more attention to it because that's obviously more profit for the store. So for sure. Everything from the ground up and that um, literally we handle. So that's why it's kind of vague and it's hard to understand, but well, we're basically yeah. the go-to guys. And so even if we don't do it, we don't have the specialty. So a client might um, want a new marketing campaign they're rolling out, right? Yeah. So they're rolling out that campaign. Um, they need to have a website done. They need the infrastructure. They need an email. They need a sales funnel, whatever the case may be. Um, and then they also have a specific style of animation, say, they need. Well, our expertise is not animation, but we know guys that do. And yeah, you know one right next marriage. to <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so our job is to make sure that the talent matches the client's goals and then we manage that project to make sure all the pieces are in place. Uh, you know, for someone who's uninitiated into this world at all, and you, you know, of course I've done brand activation a little bit so I know it, but for someone at home that maybe doesn't understand this, we're, we're talking about like, for instance, you go to an end cap of an aisle, there's a new display for a brand new toothbrush that somebody's never seen. It has a web delivery, a delivered video or something like that running. There are other parts of that activation that are being integrated, right? This is what we're talking about. Exactly. So if you go to any Home Depot, Lowe's, Best Buy or anything, yeah. um, you'll actually see a lot of the fixtures that we've installed and done yeah. as well. Um, so we do all the fixtures and so forth for Samsung um, in this area. And so if you go even to Sprint or uh, any display um, that will show exactly what the appliance does or go over what the new headphones, right. wireless um, headphones do. Um, that's that's what we where we really excel. Awesome. Um, the great thing is too that we also do um, or take care of residential clients. So audio, video, um, we do custom home security systems and home theaters. Wow. You really are getting um, into the, all of the different areas where well, this might work. Well, it's anything yeah. dealing with technology. Um, which, and we make sure that, um, now on the residential side, we usually don't make a lot, but we understand that as we build our rapport and that chances are they're gonna know some small business owners. And we're actually shifting our focus away from big companies towards small entrepreneurs, um, small companies yeah. and homes. And that's just because we understand that the whole work for, uh, that there's a shift in the, uh, the workplace and that we're, um, a lot of people are working for themselves. They're starting to realize that there's no more security in a W-2 position than a 1099. And right. a 1099, you can determine your self-worth as opposed to a W-2 where you're determined what you're worth. It's so true. You know, I, I love also the synergy that's happening right here because, uh, you know, here you have Scott and, uh, and Cameron both talking to each other about you know some of the ways they might be able to to cross over that's what one million cups is really all about and that's exactly what one million cups is is where we're we're generating literally energy you know and 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 trade and commerce and 
community and cause all around entrepreneurship and small business development uh, to, to make things move and really act as an accelerator. So that's the that's its purpose. You know, it keeps uh, you know entrepreneurship. It's like taking your lower lip and stretching it over your head sometimes and holding yeah, it there. Like um, <laughs> but it's nice to have other like-minded people, and, and we go out of our way to curate an audience of people from the education sector, uh, government, uh, large and small cap businesses that come in and they act as you know the feedback cycle, this continuous feedback loop in that in that environment, yeah. and it's designed to be you know positive, right? Completely and totally positive. Everything is about creating. Uh, help, assistance, and furtherance of their interests, and that's the the magic of the the, the program. Well, I want to uh, turn my attention back to Scott for just a moment. We have just a moment left, and I just wanted to talk about vanishing and kind of a little bit of. Uh, it's almost is that kind of almost pulling back the curtain a little bit too. Uh, this what? this book, uh, do we get a little feel for what you do when we read this? Uh, well, absolutely. I wrote it. The reason I wrote it was to pitch it as a, a screenplay. Right. To pitch it as a film. So I, I wrote it, when people read it, they say it's like watching a film. That's I've even what had I thought, people who yeah. don't like to read because you know, authors can get really wordy and that sort of thing, and I tried not to write like that, and they really enjoyed this book. Well, I'm very excited so. about that, so you can find that on Amazon. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Well, as always, Tony, this is a fascinating group. When can we see them? Uh, September 6th, okay. uh, Weber State downtown. If you want to find out more about One Million Cups, you're interested in participating in its uh, uh, committee and community, uh, it's uh, one million numeral one million cups uh, dot com backslash Ogden is our microsite. Um, you can find out more about them, about the program, presenting at it, participating in it, being a committee, helping us sponsor and get the word out. Um, all the all the parts and pieces, and we'll set September sixth at uh, nine a.m. All right, we can hardly wait for this one. It's going to be exciting. Tony good Duffy, thank you, one man. million cups, it. gentlemen. Thank you so very much for being here, and good luck to you on your you. entrepreneurial uh, pursuits. Thanks. Much more to come here on the mountain. Morning show. We've got uh, some great music on its way. We will be back right after this.